All right, my dudes, we're back. Uh, episode two of Resident Evil Revelations two. Okay, never played it before. Never seen anyone else play it. I should have evaded him, dude. Oh. He took a bite of me, that motherfucker. Holy! He fell on his ass, dude! He jumped! Dude, he fucking jumped us, dude. <laughs> Did not expect that shit, dude. He fucking jumped us, he was like, hey! Holy! Fucking shit. This might be a waste, I don't know. We can probably combine things in this game too, right? Oh, oh, we couldn't in... I don't know actually, I actually don't know. Maybe we can't, when I think about it. I'm fucking sold though. This is. I like this. There we go. Easy, easy. I'm not gonna fucking shoot you. The M147S, dude. Cool. That's awesome. Move it. Okay. I like this. Uh, it has like evil within wipes, kind of, in a way. Doesn't it? And how do I push this now? Okay, this is just a fucking crazy. You need a gun too, Moira. No, oh. I really, really don't. Sorry. I don't do firearms. Not after what happened. Seriously? In this fucking... Shit, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, God. sorry. Uh, maybe we can find you something else. Yeah, like a piece of candy. No, I'll just be on flashlight duty or something. It's fine. Oh, that's not good. I don't wanna... I think there's something shiny there, but I can't make it out. Let me hit it with a flashlight. Where? Over here? Oh shit, that's how we're supposed to find loot. I have to switch to her and do it. Oh lord. Well. I can't switch person. So I have to send it to her, I guess. Nice. Blunt weapons. I can do blunt weapons. Okay, cool. That's nice. Press to use Mora's crowbar as her melee attack. She can stun certain enemies by hitting them from behind. She can also deliver a follow-up to downed enemies. Right, so we gotta try to switch between them in combat, dude. That's interesting. Probably a bit hard for me, but still fucking interesting. But I guess I can send these over, alright? This is kind of cool. I have to say. 
Yeah. Moira, dude. Has she been in... Oh, that's the kiddo. That's the girl. Has she been in any other uh, Resident you Evil games? You saw that, right? Yeah, I saw something. That was a fucking girl. We know her name, right? Nat Natalia or whatever. This is insane, dude. Can I pick that up? I can. That's annoying. <laughs> it's cool, but it's a bit... I don't know. It's kind of fun, though. Oh, shit, though. Right now, I gotta find him one more time. The so one more thing. Who made that fucking sound? Not funny. Shotgun shells, nice. The double barrel, this wasn't it? Yeah. So who are we going to meet in this game? No, Wesker or who the fuck? I don't know. I have no clue. Cozy. This is... This is awesome. This is great. So many kind. A normal people in here. Topaz. What? Who the fuck is quoting poetry? Are you afraid? You can tell me. Talk to me. Who are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> Those bracelets change color in response And who to exactly fear. are you? So much suffering. You don't even know what to be afraid of yet. Is she talking to us or at us? I don't really know where I should go first. Oh shit. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Uh oh. Oh god, this is this is creepy as fuck, dude. This is actually creepy, dude. That. This is unsettling. Why have I never fucking played this game before? <laughs> this is kind of sick.
This looks like a way out. Detention center map. How do I find my map though? Okay, so I can change it up if I want to. And where's my fucking map? Uh, that I do not know. Improving security measures. As per the director's instructions, I put the fire breathing bust in front of the exit. Fire breathing bust. That's what it's called in another game. I was like, you know, the top. Just the statue of the top of your, your shoulders on your head. I couldn't remember what the fuck it's called. It's called in English. Like in Norwegian, it's bust. It's bust. Oh. Right. The flames this thing spits out are no joke, even if several of the experiments try to break through at once. They're all getting fried, no question. Those shall not pass. So much for anyone else trying to escape. Well, sounds fucking awesome, dude. Sounds awesome. Now how the fuck do I get to that? That's a customization kit like in the first game. How the fuck? This is on rails. Can I drag this? How do I drag it though? I have to, do I have to push another button? There has to be a combination of buttons I need to push. I can't remember how, how that works. How does that work? How do we move it? It's not E, it's not F. There has to be a fucking way, dude. God, I don't know. I only know how to push things. How do we drag it though? Can she do it? I don't know, we gotta find that shit out. Fucking technology. Fucking technology. Yeah, we're missing something here, dude. One more of these. I don't know how they work though. I can never think I ever seen anyone play this on Twitch or anything. I don't know. Excerpt from Kafka's in the penal tunnel. <laughs> the panel colony. The traveler asked, he doesn't know his own sentence. The officer replied, it would be useless to give him that info. He experiences it on his own body.
There's no button for combining anything in this. I don't think we can combine in this game. Ah, I don't like this. What is this? That looks comfy. Yeah, really comfy. Yeah, let's take one home. I see something though. There's something stuck in it. Mm-hmm. It's just what we need, dude. Do we have to lift the fucking machine? It's not working. Ah. The power must be off. Maybe there's a switch. Maybe there's a switch. Pony quilt. Bandage that stops bleeding can be used even when held by your partner. Okay. When bleeding, stops bleeding. Oh God. How fun. How fun, how fun, how fun. We actually have to find workbenches in this? No way, dude. You can upgrade and exchange your weapons at the work. You have to be on the workbench. Well, in the other one, that was it was crates, though, so it's pretty much the same. We couldn't do anything uh, when we went by the crates, so it's the same shit. Equip or remove custom parts to augment your weapons. Exchange, swap out weapons you are carrying with the ones you have. So, damage level 1, yo. Firepower 630, firepower 100. Maybe do a little more damage on the gun. Doesn't that seem like the smart thing to do? Maybe? At least for now. At least for now. I think. I enjoy this. This is good. It's, of course it's fucking locked. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> Why wouldn't it be locked? So, nothing more to do here, I guess. So how the fuck are we supposed to get the power on? How are we supposed to get the power on, dude? Moira, I'll give you a boost. Oh. See if you can climb up. Okay. Me and my crowbar, all by ourselves. Oh no. Opening boxes. Some boxes will have to be unlocked. Move the cursor to find the unlock point. Oh no. <laughs> the position of the unlock point can be determined from the color of the cursor and the controller's vibration.
Okay. Okay, I got it. Nope, I don't have it. I've never seen anything like this before. Where is it, dude? I'm, uh, I'm missing something. It was clear as day the first time. Now I don't know anymore. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing now. Did I see it? I don't know if I understand this. I thought I did. I thought I was supposed to find another. How did I find that one? Is it just because it got teeny tiny? I don't know. I like this. I like this. Claire, this way. Okay, we got Maybe the door inside, open. Find someone to help us. Yeah. You can set out again, dude. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's fucking chill. All good. got a big uh, some fucking blister so that doesn't look 
Ah, uh, disgusting, dude. Kristna Lara. Kristna Slatter. Written in Russian. Who's Russian in Resident Evil? Dear Mama, I don't know if you'll ever get to read this, but I need you. They call us experiments. They torture us every day. Every day. What did I do to deserve this? Why is this happening? It hurts so bad. Every day I'm scared of what will happen next. Mama, please. Please help. What? How far do we have to go to get some power in this? What is this though? Oh, okay. It was just... I love this. This is... This is pretty sick. This is pretty sick, dude. At least I think so. Who's fucking breathing? I knew it, of course. Classic Ori. Classic, always. <laughs> I love that though. The first time that happened to me in a Resident Evil game was in my neighbor's basement when I was... When did Res Resident Evil 1 come out? 96, 97 or something? I was 13, 12, 13 or something like that. And I went through like a little hallway in the mansion. And there came a fucking Doberman jumping in through a window. I nearly fucking pissed myself. <laughs> that shit. That's like, I don't know. That's stuck on my brain, on my memory. That shit will never leave my brain. I will never forget it. Never forget it. And I'm betting I'm not the only one. <laughs> I think a lot of us millennials almost pooped our pants when that happened, dude. Because that was some sick shit back then. It was awesome. I went from playing fucking Duke Nukem 2D to that shit. It was sick. Like sick in a fucking good way. I think. <laughs> Might explain some things though. I see something, but I have to look. Use my flashlight first. Yes. I think maybe we should wait a bit with the shotgun, dude. We might need that pocket later. Could use your help. Ah, oh, this shit. Fuck this. I 
Like, there's nothing here. God, I hate this. Oh. Customization kit. And then we had a note. Uh, excerpt from Kafka's The Trial. The man expressed his wish to pass through the gates. The gatekeeper answered, if you truly wish to pass through, then break the rules and go. But be forewarned. I am but a lo lowly gatekeeper. Those beyond the gates will cause you to tremble in fear. Nice. Nice. A fucking Molotov? Sub weapon, shift and then okay, cool. That's actually not a bad when you don't have sprinting, I guess. So that's it in this fucking room. I think we're good. Except for this door though. <laughs> Hello. This game is sick as fuck. Why didn't I play this when it was new? Why didn't I play this when this was top notch fucking... Just like Alan Wake 2 is today, dude. I have Alan Wake 2 playthrough. Just finished it the other day. Fucking amazing, dude. It's a pretty long fucking playthrough. So if you love Alan Wake, and a dumb guy playing it, then it's for you. Oh, what is, what is this, dude? Before we fuck around and find out more about this gentleman over here, we're gonna end this episode. So on the next episode, we're gonna go and die to that fucking shit. Right? Peace out. Take care. Be fucking kind to yourself, dude.